Hi, welcome to Ground Zero Behind the Scenes. I'm currently working on uh, one of the many montages you hear on the program, and tonight is a special night because of the fact that we're going to go after, once again, the royal birth of, the, of, of Prince George of Cambridge. Well, it seems a long wait. Uh, I'm sure it has been a long wait for the Cape Middleton. Here they come. And I know a lot of people are saying, well, you know, get over it. It's just a baby being born. But the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, there, I, I'm seeing a lot, of para uh, a lot of paranormal parallels. And I know that's, that's uh, you know, something that, uh, you know, you'll say, well, sure, Clyde, you're seeing a paranormal parallel of something. Well, it's really a, a creepy one when you consider that around this time last year, I was in San Francisco and uh, I did a presentation about the Olympics. And I had said during the presentation that the Olympics were pretty much, uh, actually the opening ceremonies of the Olympics would be pretty much a, some sort of an Illuminati ceremony or a ceremony that would be ritualistic or satanic or Luciferian or, I don't know, it's just magical and strange. And, uh, and so, of course, when we were watching the Olympics, we didn't realize that what we were seeing was clearly a depiction of uh, the song Jerusalem. Uh, which is, of course, a, um, a, uh, a song that uh, talks about uh, what is known as Anglo-Israelism. The idea that uh, you know England believes that it is the chosen land where Jesus will return, or that a Messiah will return and, and reign over uh, the entire country and reign over the entire world, and that is why you know I have been quoted in Rolling Stone as talking about Prince William being the Antichrist, or or you know all this stuff dealing with the possibility that the royals will be uh, the, the royals will bring us, of course, someone who will be a king that will rule over the entire world. Well, the baby was born recently. I remember the Olympics last year and how there was, uh, you know, there was this, this huge display of all kinds of strangeness. And one of the strangest things I saw at the Olympics was this baby that just showed up during this depiction of the, uh, what they called the Satanic Mills time of England, the Industrial Age, where uh, babies were sick and they were in these hospitals, they were being cared for by nurses. And all of a sudden, this this baby comes from out of nowhere, and people say, ooh, that's creepy. What does that all have to do with anything? And then all these children that are gathered around the baby, and then after the baby uh, shows up, there's this depiction of this uh, death symbol, this huge, giant death wizard that has a wand, and he just shows up, and then all these children die in his presence. And I got to thinking, well, the child is born, and then a symbol of death or a symbol of Saturn, literally, a Saturnalian Kronos-like death symbol appears, and all these children die, because for those of you that know a little bit about Saturn and Kronos and the mythology surrounding it is that Father Kronos ate his children, that Kronos, of course, Father Time and all the depictions of Kronos are this character with a scythe and a hood, like death. So I, I'm looking at this, I'm going, well, okay, back then it was something sinister and weird and no one really thought about it. Well, now baby George has been born, of, co of course, uh, uh, they're calling him uh, Prince George of Cambridge. Well, George Alexander Lewis was born on July 22nd, 2013. What I find interesting is that he was born on a date that just is uh, the, the day before right, the appearance of the star Sirius in the sky. It, okay, it's called the dog days of summer, where Sirius appears. And Sirius, of course, is a very influential star. And I remember reading in the Huffington Post that a lot of Christians are ticked off because they're calling... Uh, they're calling George the real king and everybody's saying remember the real king was born in a stable and he had a star above his stable and 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 I'm thinking ooh, the comparisons are getting really wicked and weird but what gets even more interesting is that he gets born actually he is born on a date that coincides with the, the appearance of Sirius in Orion but it also coincides with an alignment of seven planets called the great sextile or the hexagon 
Now, people, when they look at the hexagon, go, oh, the Star of David. Well, you know what? It predates David by thousands of years. It's actually a symbol for Saturn. It's a symbol of the hexagon, meaning the six, the six, and the six, or the six, six, six. So on the heels of the birth of this child comes the great image of Saturn, or the great image of the hexagon, much like what we saw in the Olympic ceremony. I'm finding the parallels to be weird, strange, and, 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 and quite uh, paranormal. Um, I don't know if there's any meaning to this, only that it just seems to me that the royals have an uncanny knack of being born in times of remarkable celestial events. I mean, you, you take a look at Prince William being born in a solstice, Lady Catherine was born during a lunar eclipse during the same year, 1982, and they're, they're actually being called the Solstice King or the Sun King and the Moon Goddess Queen. And now we have a child, Prince George, who's born during a super moon, so he is a moon child, and then he's born on the heels of two celestial events. The appearance of Sirius, which of course is the star that you know many people associate with uh, spiritual events, and the forming of this hexagon, or Rafan, the symbol of death, or the hexagon. And I'm finding this really bizarre because of what we saw during the Olympics of a baby that's born children dying as the appearance of Saturn or death comes into view. And I'm just seeing this as a real weird paranormal event because it happened exactly a year ago during the Olympics. I'm Clyde Lewis and this is Ground Zero Behind the Scenes.